Hello. Hi, hi. Hi, hi teacher. Hi, Lisi. How are you? Hi. What about you? I'm okay. I'm very, very well. Hi, Ale. Hi, Norma. Hi, Walter. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Glenda, Elmer, Lisi. Very good. Hi, Elmercito. Nos saluda Elmer. Ya mire, Walter. Ya no, no. Good evening, my dear teacher. How are you? <laughs> Fine. How are you? What did you weekend? It was good. It was a very good weekend. Thank you. What about your weekend? Yeah. Fine, teacher. Right. Me extraña magaña. How do you say me extraña magaña? Me extraña magaña. No sé. Tomando chata de morro. <laughs> Elmer, did you work on the weekend, Elmer? No, teacher, I don't work on the weekend. Oh, excuse me. Very yeah. nice. All yes. right. What about Walter? What, how was your weekend, Walter? Uh, very good, teacher. Uh, I was resting. Oh, very nice. So. Wow, lucky you guys. Very good. And Alex, how was your weekend, Alex? <laughs> Alex, no? Hi. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Very, very well. My weekend was, was good. Where I spent my time with my family. Oh, very nice. All right. Hi, Ramiro. Oh, hi, teacher. How are you, Ramiro? Uh, oh, so tired. <laughs> Yes. All right, I know. And it's only uh, Monday, Ramiro. Apenas empieza. La semana. Because uh, this morning at 4 a.m., I heard, I heard a chewing gum. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my goodness. By your house? Mm. Outside? I, I Yes, outside. Okay, all right. I, I, I thought it's, it's, it's near, but, but I don't, I don't show nothing. You didn't see anything, okay, all right. Yes, yeah, I didn't see, yes. Okay, see. all right, okay. All right, very good. Let's see who else I have here. Hi, Adri. I also have Jennifer. All right, very good. Nice. Okay. Hey, what happened to Noemi? No Noemi in class? She's probably sleeping. All right. Okay, guys, let's see. ¿Quién estuvo conmigo el jueves en clase? I don't Me. remember who Me, was. Teacher. Yeah, you guys? Me, teacher Alex okay. was okay, in class. Thank you. All right, very good. Thank you. All right. Pero antes de empezar, ¿cómo van con la plataforma? Bien. I am in the section two, the middle. Excellent. All right. Very good. Nice. Good for you. All right. What about Norma? Hola. Yes. I work in the platform kitchen. I cannot hear you very well. I work. Oh, okay. In the okay. Very good. Okay. What about Walter and Ramiro and Elmer? How are you doing on the platform? Finish already everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this weekend is All right. <laughs> okay. I don't right. start in. I didn't yet, start it. Okay, that's okay. Why not? I'll, uh, I promise. I will. Elmercito, what happened? Why not? Uh, Ah, very nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, you're so honest. <laughs> yes, teacher. You're terrible. <laughs> oh my goodness, bad student. <laughs> no, yo sé que no se la cree. What about you, uh, Alicia and Adriana? How are you doing, and Glenda? How are you platform? Uh, studying teacher is. Uh, Section two. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Glenda. Yeah, Elmer. Aprenda, Glenda. Very good. And Adriana? Uh, today, finish section one, teacher. Excellent. Very good. All right. Ali, what about you? 
Hi, teacher. In my case, I have troubles with uh, the access. And today, um, I do all the access and I start today. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Very good. All right. Very good. Okay. So, Alex, um, can you remind me what we talked about on Thursday? What was the topic on Thursday? Okay, I we were studying about gerund and infinitives. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And gerunds, the structure is um, for mm -hmm. plus the verb uh, plus ing. That's right. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And the infinitive is the structure is to mm -hmm. plus the verb. Excellent. Okay, uh -huh. very good. All right, thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, Elmer, give me one example using four plus gerund, please. Plus? Four plus gerund. I don't remember, teacher. Excellent, Elmer, very good. Uh, what about Walter? Walter, were you in class on Thursday? Yes, right? Waltercito. Se me fue. All right, what about Jennifer? Jennifer, were you in class on Thursday? Teacher. Were you no, in class? teacher. No? No, okay. I had a problem. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, okay. Can, can um, uh -huh. And in the platform, in section, in a, in a meter. Ah, okay, all right, that's okay, okay. A ver, Walter, ¿usted se estuvo en clase el jueves? Yes, teacher, I, I, I was. Ok. Eh, can you give me an example of using for plus gerund? Ok. Uh, uh, for, uh, for example, is for, uh, the stereo is used for listening music. Ok. Ok. And um, what it would be with two? Can you give me the, the same example? Uh -huh. is, uh, used to listen music. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Just give me one second here. Necesito encontrar para buscarles. Uh, just give me a second. My phone, please. Just give me a second, guys, please. Yeah. Okay. Para los que no estuvieron en clase, para los que no se acuerdan, como Don Elmer. All right. We were talking about gerunds and infinitives. All right. And then we have this. Rapidito para que lo veamos. In English, both gerunds and infinitives can be used to talk about the reason why we use or do something. Okay? So we have a, we have this one here. This is a hair dryer. And then we have, there are two ways you can talk about the purpose of the hair dryer. Compare these two sentences. A hair, Jennifer, can you read the first one, please? A hair dryer. There okay. are me? Yes. There are two ways you can talk about purpose of the hair dryer. Compare the sentence. The sentences. A hair dryer is for drying hair. I use a high dryer to dry my hair. Can you see the difference between two sentences above? Okay, very good. Continue. Gerons. A gerund is a verb that acts like a noun. To, to form a gerund, add ing to the end of the verb. What is a hair dryer for a hair dryer is for drying hair? Is for drying hair. To describe, uh, I, don't, I, I don't see the other part because it's a, a middle. Um, to describe. Hi, I'm sorry. Okay. More example sentences. My 
or um, to describe purpose. Where are you? Where are you? I, I'm lost here. This one right here, can you see it? I I don't see it. Can you I see can't. it now? I can. Uh, hmm. so, so, to describe the purpose of something used for plus. Use plus. for plus. Plus ing. Jerome. What is this program for this computing program is for editing video. All right. Okay. Very good. Let's see. And uh, then we have more sentences here. All right. But I just want to, I'm going to go over with this one. It says infinitives. What do you uh, use a hair dryer for? I use a hair dryer to dry my hair. Remember that you have to use the two plus the verb in the base form when you talk about infinitives, all right? What, why did you go to the store for? All right, or why did you go to the store? I went to the store to buy some milk. Why are you going to Toronto? I'm going to Toronto to learn English, okay? And then we had this exercise, and we also had this one. Terminamos este ejercicio todos y todas? Yes. Yes. Yeah? No? Yes. 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 Okay, let's see. Yes. Um, no, um, Norma, are you there, Normita? Yes, teacher. Okay, Norma, why do you study English? I study English to learn more. All right, very good. Elmer, why do you study English? I study English for um, my work. For work, for working. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's better, thank you. All right, Elizabeth, why do you study English? Me? Yeah, Elizabeth, yes. Uh, why? Because I need to learn. Okay, you need to learn. All right, very good. Alex, what about you? I study English for learning and make a uh, best conversation with other people with okay and making a, a better conversation with other people all right okay this is what i want you to do right now para cerrar el, ese tema i want you to think mm -hmm. about five things no? all right no, don't I, trate que no sean las mismas mm -hmm. que ya hicimos all right O sea, que no podemos hablar de speakers, we cannot talk about the bus, we cannot talk about cell phones, we cannot talk about smartwatches, we cannot talk about English either or a TV, all right? So I want you to think about five questions that you can ask your partner, okay? For example, you can say, why are you on a diet, for example? And then he or she has to say, I am on a diet for... And then you have to give a gerund or an infinitive answer. You understand what you have to do? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes. So think about five questions that you want to ask your partner. All right. And then, for example, if I'm working with Norma, I ask Norma five questions. And then Norma can answer with infinitive or with gerund. When she's finishing or when she finishes, she has to ask me five questions. You understand? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. Okay, so let's go to your groups right now and let's and think about your questions and then talk about your answers, okay? Okay. Let's see how many people I have. All right. Son siete grupos. So please click on your invitation right now. Okay. Ale, can you hear me?
Antonia. Hi, Ale. Hi, Ale. Hi. La acabo de mandar a su grupo. Ok. No veo él. ¿Le salió? ¿No? No. ¿Nada, Eli? No. Ok, dejemos moverla otra vez. <coughs> Mire ahora. Ahora, sí.
Hi, Federico. How are you doing? Just there. Uh, uh, almost, no, casi, casi. Yeah, finish. almost finished. All right. Almost finished, yes. Uh, casi terminando. All right. Why the people just there? Normal. Because Guitar. The guitar. Ah, the guitar. The guitar. Because I don't. Uh -huh. I don't have. Mojarme, no sé cómo se dice. Get wet. I, you don't like to get wet. 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 I, get use wet. I use umbrella. I use umbrella for. Wet. Eh, evol, eh, evitar. For not getting wet. For not getting, getting wet. wet. Okay, for <laughs> not getting wet. Uh -huh. For the raining. Okay. Okay, uh, all of this. Uh, uh, what do we, what is the, because do you use um, glasses? Why do you use yes. glasses? Why do you um, use glasses? What do you... But, uh, well, I use my glasses because I don't, uh, I don't see. Uh, for watching. <laughs> for watching for better. Watching. <laughs> for watching <laughs> better. For reading. <laughs> for reading. <laughs> for reading, oh, I for use reading my better. Uh, um, for studying. Why for... do you? Wearing a belt. a belt. Why do you wear a belt? Uh huh. A belt. Um, uh, I use um a belt mm -hmm. to to avoid <laughs> avoid <laughs> to my my pants. To fall off. <laughs> Go, uh, going off. Falling off. Okay. <laughs> Why do you use uh, tennis shoes. It's in English. Uh, yes, teacher. El me mira una pues una consulta y en la plataforma cuál ejercicio nos toca hacer ahora? Pues estoy viendo bien perdida. ¿Qué le no, pasó, no Elizabeth? Es yo que no yo creo que ya hice. <ríe> yo creo que ya hice. Vamos por el intermedio. Vamos por el. Yo tengo completo el intermedio dos y tres. Creo que no me he perdido que las cabras de la leche. Intermedio 2 y 3. Sí, yo tengo completo. Es y que en al parecer el, Elizabeth... En el 1 no tengo nota. Al parecer en el, Elizabeth no, no, no tiene el, el módulo este. Es, es que yo creo que no estoy matriculada quizás. Ay, no sé. Teacher. Hola. We have a, a, a question for you, teacher. Yes, what's your question, Elmer? When you say glasses is for seeing, uh, uh, the glasses is for drinking something, it's the, the same word, teacher. I don't understand your question, El Mercito. The glasses. Yeah. Do do? Yeah. Glasses is for what? For, for watching? Yeah. It's for watching? Yeah, glasses yeah. are for my glasses. I use glasses. For reading, for watching better, for seeing yes. better. Yes, but but uh, there there are there is a word for uh, a glass for drinking. Yeah, also glasses. Glasses. It's the same word, teacher. It, uh, yes, it is. It is the same as same pronunciation, same spelling. Mm, that mm. that is a word. Esa es la palabra, the same Lisa, word. I, I, I use the, that word for the um, 
for the sentences, teacher. Uh, the glasses is for drinking. The glasses is to drink is uh, to see. liquor. Oh, and my the, goodness. <laughs> yes. And the glasses is, is for watching the news. Okay. Uh, the, it is the same, yes. Yeah, it's the same spelling, same pronunciation. What do you say, Orcha Temoro, teacher? I don't know, my <laughs> friend. Porque le da risa. Si le pregunta a la teacher. Teacher. Hola, Walter. Can you uh, listen my sentence, please? Yes, please, of course. The, the cup is for drinking coffee. Is for infinity. Yes. And it's Herondio. That's, that's Jerome, the water. Jerome, for example. Jerome. And for infinity, is the cup is used to drink coffee. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Very good. You guys are good. <laughs> Elizabeth, y entonces usted me dejó pensando con eso de sus ejercicios. <laughs> Teacher, lo siento, pero es que tengo nota en el 2 y en el 3 y en el 1 no tengo ¿Cuál es? nota. Perdón, ahora, ahora ¿cuáles son las otras que tenés, Walter? Uh, <coughs> the TV is for watching a movie. Uh, the TV is used, for, uh, used to watch a movie. It's good, teacher. Yeah, it's okay. I want to read my sentence. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, my song, he turned off the light. Okay. Wait. <laughs> okay. The computer is for working. The music is to dance okay. on Saturday. Um, <clears throat> the way is for working or the way is for knowing. The English is for learning. The, uh, no, the, the Python. No, no. We need to take a vacation. I need that. All right. Okay. And now, did you ask each other or solo hicieron las oraciones? Eso se preguntaron. We were. What happened we in made, Mexico? You were supposed to ask questions. Like, for example, you say, why do you, I don't know, why do you wear glasses? The glasses for, for having some, teacher, for having a phone. No, yeah. but why do you wear glasses? Why? The, why do you wear glasses? Ah, the glasses is for watching, for seeing, for mm. reading, for looking to you. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nunca me salvo, ya me voy. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but you finished, yes? Ya volviendo yes, a lo serio, ¿verdad? <laughs> <laughs> All right, solo déjeme ir donde un grupo más y salimos de los grupos. Un buen sitio for um, for Why the, do you use a spoon? Why do you use a spoon? Teacher <laughs> Hi. Uh, worship uh, is a bird. Yeah. Is worship okay? Uh, yeah. Para, like alabar. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. How do you say uh, worshiping or worship? For worshiping. For worshiping. Yeah. Worshiping God. For worshiping God. Yes. Yes. Ah, or to okay. worship God, uh huh. Okay, to worship God. Okay, teacher. Right, Ramiro. Teníamos esa duda. Si era válido worshiping. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a verb. You can use it. Okay. Okay. What is the difference with to adore? Um, the thing is, like in English, you don't say adore. You say worship. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Like you can, someone like um, Senia can say, I adore you. 
Okay. All right, it's more like, but for God, it's like more worshiping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Sí. Silvita, ¿usted estuvo en clase el jueves, Silvia? No, para nada. Mis compañeros aquí me han estado uh, retroalimentando las clases. ¿Qué decía yo que no la había visto, Silvia? Sí, no, no había podido asistí la semana pasada por varias situaciones, pero primero Dios ya me voy a reincorporar a todas las clases. Ah, okay. las... De todas maneras, las clases están todas subidas, Silvia, oye. Sí, sí, las voy a ver, gracias. All right, very good. Ok, Adriana, ¿usted estuvo en, en clase el jueves, Adri? Yes, teacher. All right. Hmm. Sí, sí, Adriancita, sí estuvo, ya me acordé. All right, very good. Vamos a regresar al grupo. Vamos a hacer una okay, última teacher. actividad, ¿ok? Just to practice. Ok. okay. Hi. Hello. 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 All right, I think everybody was able to finish. We're going to do something else right now, always related to gerunds and infinitives, but the idea is for you to practice speaking with your classmates, okay? So this is what we're going okay. to do. I'm going to show you a page, okay, with some questions. Well, no, they're not questions, but I'm going to explain it to you. But you're going to see on the page is part a student A and a student B. Igual, you take the picture to the whole page. Cuando usted esté en su grupo, usted decide, Ramiro decide si es el estudiante A, a o el estudiante B. Si es el estudiante A, hace la parte A. Don't do part B. If you're a student B, then do part B. Don't do part A. Y deje que su otro compañero o compañera haga la otra parte. ¿Ok? Yes? Okay. You understand? Okay. So let's take a picture of that right now. So you can go back and practice your speaking. Uh, just give me a second here. Hold on, hold on. Here we, okay, so here we have, this is part, a student A, okay? Okay. Este es el estudiante A, hasta ahí llega. Okay, so this is the idea. It says think, about your partner and complete the sentences. Usted no le va a preguntar nada. Es como que Ramiro y yo estamos trabajando juntos. Yo digo, bueno, yo soy el estudiante A. Yo veo a Ramiro y digo, ajá. Yo creo que on Mondays a Ramiro, he dislikes attending classes. Estoy adivinando, no le estoy preguntando nada. Solo yo estoy terminando la oración con gerundio, con infinitivo, adivinando por cómo veo a, a Ramiro si le si le disgusta estar en clases o le gusta o le, le disgusta estar en el trabajo en lunes, no sé. Entonces todas las oraciones yo las voy llenando solo viendo a Ramiro y contesto yo. All right? Luego le digo, ajá, Ramiro, eh, yo le voy a leer lo que yo creo que es, pienso de usted, de acuerdo a lo que veo. Entonces la, la idea aquí es usar gerundios o infinitivos. All right? Lo mismo, right. cuando yo termine, entonces ahí me va a decir, Ramiro, así ah, tiene razón, a mí me disgusta estar en clase los lunes. Los martes sí me gusta, pero los lunes no. All right? y entonces vamos hablando de eso. Y luego eh, la parte del estudiante ve hace lo mismo con, la, con otras oraciones acá. ¿You understand what you're supposed to do? Yes, I understand. Ok, tomámosle foto a la y tómele foto al B. Y ya cuando esté en su grupo decide si este va a ser A o va a ser B. Finish the picture? So please uh, show the student B. All student right. B. Everybody finish a student A? Yes. Okay, so student B, this is a student B. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's go back. Acuérdese que you have to use gerunds or infinitives. Ah, ¿sabe qué? Voy a recrear los grupos porque vemos más. ¿Ok? Ok. A 
All right. Yo creo que hoy sí. Solo igual me queda nada más un grupo de tres, pero necesito que todos se unan a los grupos para que no me dejen a nadie trabajando solito o solito. Hi, Alex. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Are you oh, working with Jennifer? Yes. We okay. are completing the, ah, okay. the sentence. Okay, perfect. Yeah, okay. I, <laughs> I am the student A and Alex, and Alex is, is a student B. B. Oh, perfect. Right. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> we have, because no, first welcome. we have to complete the sentence. That's right. Yes, you're right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you make, it makes sense. Yes, thank you. Okay. okay.
you want to stop? My dear teacher. Yes. For example, uh, you you're really good at to teach English. It is okay. You are really good at teaching English. At teaching English. Yeah. Ahí no le pongo for ni ni. ¿Dónde to, está? Ya. Yeah. Sí, porque. You are really good at. En la, prepos en la preposición at. It would uh -huh. be really good at playing tennis. You're really good at swimming. You're really good at teaching English. You're really good at listening. O sea que siempre que terminen en esa preposición. Sí, siempre va a ser gerundio. Por, ese, siempre va a ser gerundio. That's right, yes. Ah, okay. You are really good at teaching English, teacher. Thank you. In the My case of... <laughs> Sorry, in yes. the case with the on, is the same. This it's is the same. When you plan on going, going shopping, to, on uh, yeah. listening, on dancing. You don't say on to dance. This weekend you plan on, you plan on watch, watching. You plan plan on watching TV, uh, for example. Wa watching soccer game. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Cuando vean, por ejemplo, la preposición at o on, no pueden tener otra seguida. No pueden decir, uh -huh. you're really good at to teach English. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. ¿Ya? Yeah. Siempre que lleva at, on y uh -huh. for es, es gerundio. That's right, yes. Eh, gerundio en Spanish, teacher. Yes, Thank of course. You. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ok. Go ahead. Ok. Teacher. Hi. Eh, y, y cómo se, se complementaría, for example, you want to stop uh, for bullying of children. Or... You want to stop children bullying? Children bullying. Mm -hmm. For children bullying. Or... Children, no, 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 no sería correcto el ejemplo entonces. You tell me the sentence again, Ramiro. Eh, for example, eh, voy a compartir rápido la, la pantalla. Yeah, that's okay. The example is you want to stop drinking. Okay, entonces, I, Walter, want to stop. Um, ah, póngala al revés. Walter wants, pero le hace falta la S, I want. Ah, yeah, wants. <laughs> Walter wants to stop children bullying. Como el, el, el. Stop como, game. Uh -huh. Él quiere detener eso, que ya no, ya no pase, okay. eso es lo que quiere decir. Sí. Ajá, children bullying. Que sí, como hay una frase así que no, 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 no hay o que como que pegar a ocupar el, el, los ejemplos, hay que cambiarlo. Ok, cuando vean preposiciones, por ejemplo, be good at... Or this weekend you plan on, siempre va a ser seguido de gerundio, no de un infinitivo. Se fija en la, no sé qué número es, pero dice, you're really good at. Ajá, uh, Walter is really, uh -huh, you're really good for. Ah, bueno, pero ese le quitó el at y le puso for studying sí. English. Sí, That's porque okay. ah, no, no sentía que pegaba. Entonces, uh -huh. ah, y si debo el at, sería at. Y luego gerundio. At study. At, at study in English, yes. Y no se ocupa el tú. Eh? No. No. At study. Igual que el on. La siguiente. This ah. weekend you plan on eh, going to a party. You, uh, this weekend you plan, you plan on playing soccer. This weekend ah. you plan on going to the church. Okay. 
This weekend, Walter plans on on go to the beach. Ongoing. Ongoing. Es gerundio. Ah, ongoing. For on es gerundio. Yep. Oh. For a, for at es. In, También gerundio. Sí. Cuando tiene el ah. at es también gerundio. At gerundio. Uh -huh. Okay, lo voy a. Ah. Federico está, está ahí. Y para on. Federico ya yes, está hecho. Ok. A ocupar el yo y para on también. Sí, porque no puede tener, por ejemplo, you're really good at to play tennis. No tiene ah, sentido. Ah, sí, ok. Good teacher. Okay. O le quité el at y como se hizo, ¿verdad? You're really poor. Uh -huh. I don't know, listening to me. <laughs> Or I don't know. <laughs> Pero en ese caso es you're really good at. Dejamos el at y decimos playing, going, swimming, teaching. Okay. Good teacher. Thank you. Okay. Y aquí que dice, you are learning English too. Ahí como ya le ponen el tú, obviamente. Ahí, ahí es está el tú. Sí, exacto. Ajá, ok. To get a better okay. job, to be fluent, to travel to England. Travel. Ajá, yes, to travel. To travel teacher. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I travel a lot. Then. Very good. Ok. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, come. Okay. Hi, Norma. Hi, Norma. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. <laughs> You're always together. Yes. The second throat. Yeah. All right, are you finishing? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. You finish everything? Yes. yes. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. All right. So, Norma, can you tell me your sentences about Norma? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, you I don't. don't. Well, no, no. Norma, Norma Campos about Norma Rivera. Okay. Um, Norma Rivera say on Monday. She is like awake at work early. Ah, uh, she just likes to wake up early. Infinite yes. early. Yes. Uh -huh. And Norma and the second at home, she enjoys awake late. Ah, to wake late, uh, to wake up late, okay. Okay. Miss you, uh, she don't. She doesn't? Oh, she doesn't, excuse me, have a child. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> On Sunday morning, she really likes uh, cooking. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, I, I think it's the second part. This is incomplete picture. Okay. All right, and what about Norma Rivera? Okay, teacher, uh, in the case of the Norma Campos. Yes. She said uh, she liked to learn English. Ah. Uh, she uh, are not very good at, uh, at, the, at, the, at the cooking. At Every cooking, day. okay, okay. She's not really good at cooking, okay. A uh, house of job, she don't mind. She doesn't mind? She doesn't mind doing it because it's tired for her. Okay. 
when she was younger, she wanted to to play in the neighborhood. Okay, to play, to play in the to neighborhood. Play. All right, yes. Uh, this weekend, she liked to uh, to travel for every every place. Okay. When she go on holiday, when she goes on holiday, uh -huh. holiday uh, she loves to make a cookies. Ah, oh, she likes to bake cookies. Very good, delicious. Uh, she has recently decided. She has recently decided, uh huh? Study to study to study English. Okay, very good. When he on on when when I don't know what to say that uh, when she are on your own, she enjoy because the time is is uh, management only for her. Okay. Okay. Uh, she like she really like to take her the pets. Oh, nice! Uh, during the week, she spend a lot of time with her family. Okay, so she likes to spend time. Okay, she's okay mm -hmm. to spend time. Yes, that's it. Okay, very good. All right, thank you. All right, we're going to go back to the main group, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Bye, mama. Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Uh, were, were you guys able to finish or so-so? Uh, yeah. finish. Kind of. All right. Yeah. I know some of you were finished. All right. And finished. some of you did not finish like everything. What we're going to do tomorrow finish. when we come in, no pierda esa, esa, bueno, esa foto. Y él dice no pierda la hojita, pero no tienen la hojita ustedes. All right. Sure. So, yes. You can, you can share in the platform or the, or the chat, the WhatsApp for the page. Yeah, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. All right. So what I want you to do tomorrow when we start the class, digamos, entra Walter y le voy a decir que me lea nada más las oraciones para revisar que tengan gerundio o que tengan infinitivo. All right, because that's the idea. All right? Okay. Tomorrow oh, right. we the new topic. We're not okay. going to do, well, we're going to do the topic that is on the platform, all right? Teacher. So make sure that you come to class, yes? Teacher, a question. Yeah. Uh, after the, for example, uh, after on or at, mm -hmm. we have to use for or to. You have to use the gerund. Uh, the uh, gerund, it's but for. not for. No, the, the preposition the is at or on. Okay. So for Only example, we say, you are really good at swimming. Uh -huh, okay. Ah, okay. You are really good at cooking. Uh, at cooking. Not for, not to. No, you uh -huh. cannot have two prepositions together. Okay. Ah, okay. Only one. Teacher, the other question uh, is related to in the both case, always uh, use the the for use two or for or you or for or use for. Ask me again. I don't. I'm, I'm not really sure. You in, in when in the samples in the other samples we make the use two or use for. The, the doubt is always use the, the word use. Yeah, I think I understand what you're saying. Uh, yeah, you, for example, say, I use the car for driving. So it's use for. Uh -huh. Always use, yeah. uh, use the same word. Use yeah. for. Use mm -hmm. for. Okay. In in this class, you add the the others uh, prepositions. Yes. And on. Yeah. And when we use the the 
many kind of prepositions. Mm -hmm. uh, the verb is a gerund. It depends, I, Jennifer. It depends, but you know what? Eh, eso, esto, exactamente este punto nos lleva a que tienen que saber que hay verbos que, si, que se pueden usar solo en gerundio, hay otros verbos que se usan solo en infinitivo y hay otros verbos mm. que se usan en ambos. All right? oh. Entonces mañana oh. vamos a hablar oh. un poquito de esas reglas. Ah. This to be continued. Yes, of course. No, que no se queda aquí nomás. Yes. Okay. All right. Entonces, okay. eso es lo que a veces Good, no good strategy. I strategy. know, of course. All right. <risa> Entonces, siempre vamos como poquito por poquito para lo más difícil es al final. Pero cuando ya no. ustedes se sientan como, ah, ok, vamos entendiendo, pero de repente como, ay, no, hay otras cosas. Yeah. Sí, All como right. que me trabo. Because, because ok. We yeah. need to sing in English. Of course, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Ok, entonces mañana no se pierda la clase porque vamos a ver qué verbos van con gerundio siempre, qué verbos van con infinitivo siempre y qué verbos pueden ir en ambas, en ambas situaciones y, está acepta y es aceptable. Ok. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Bye. Good night, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.